Hey everybody, welcome to J Stern Designs. Today I wanna to do a fit adjustment for jeans or fitted pants, and it deals with an athletic front thigh. I've gotten a few different um, questions about this from some of my followers and people who have bought my patterns. And I thought what I would do is do a video showing how to adjust your pattern if you have an athletic front thigh. Now the first thing I wanna talk about is how do you know if you have a athletic front thigh? Um, the way you can tell is if you stand sideways in the mirror and look at your profile, and if the front of your thigh bows out a little bit, um, you know, so it's not straight, so it actually bows away from your body a little bit, that means you have a prominent um, front thigh or an athletic front thigh. The things that it causes in the muslin is diagonal wrinkles um, from the front to the back along the side seam. It can also cause the fabric or the crotch in the back to pull to the front because there's not enough fabric in the front to wrap around the front of your leg. Let's look at the pattern I have in front of me. And this is actually a pattern I worked with with one of my members of my um, fitting and pattern perfection group on Facebook. I will put a link to that group below the video because um, if you're not a member you might want to join us because we do a lot of pattern things and sew alongs in that group. You can see here I sort of circled where the, the front thigh is on the pattern. Now the thing about this that's very interesting is I drew a line right here. I'm gonna make it um, bolder so you can see. This right here is the zipper where the center front of my jeans are, and I'm just gonna draw a straight line all the way down, okay? So this is the center front of the pattern, okay? And this little wedge over here is how much fabric you have to wrap around the inside of your leg. And you can see, I'm gonna put the original pattern on top of it, there's not a lot of room for the pattern to wrap around your leg. So I'm just gonna draw that line right now so you can see what it is. This, this part of the pattern um, hangs from your waist and travels down your leg. From here where the crotch point is, anything below the crotch point here, this portion of the pattern is what wraps around your inner thigh. So if you have an athletic front thigh, if you have prominent inner thighs, this adjustment will actually help you because it's gonna allow the fabric to wrap around the leg. What happens if you don't have enough room on this side of the center line is that this part of the pattern, the front crotch, is sewn together to the back crotch and it can actually pull through your legs and make it look like you have a problem in the back because if this is too short and there's not enough room, um, it will cause the whole crotch to be tight and it can look like the back is pulling and a lot of times what happens is um, when you see wrinkles in the back, you tend to want to increase the crotch point um, or do things in the back to try to fix that. And all you're doing is adding um, more room in the back that cannot come through your legs to the front because the back and front crotch are connected at the inseam. So if your back crotch is, lar is longer, let's say you make it longer, it makes more room for your butt and it makes more room to sit in the back but that length does not necessarily transfer through to the front to give you more room to wrap around your leg. You need to do that in the front. And then by relaxing the front, it can, it can wrap around your leg, meet the back, and not cause wrinkles and problems. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to draw a guideline from the base, or the, I'm sorry, the top of the front curve all the way down to the inseam you know, about, um, I would say, eight to 10 inches, depending on the shape. You know, you can sort of judge. You want it to stop near the base of where your athletic thigh is. Okay, so kind of look at how much the front of your leg curves or what the shape of your inseam, your, you know, your inseam or inner thigh looks like. And then you want to blend back to your original side seam somewhere near the base of that. So you're gonna draw the line, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna spread it out this way, and you're adding length to the crotch. You can let the side seam out a little bit as well if you need to, um, but if you've got a straight hip, 
that fabric will tend to sit there. It's not going to come over here. Depending on the jean pattern you're working with, there are a variety of different crotch shapes. This does not have a lot of curve to it. Um, so if you make your muslin and you notice a lot of loose fabric around the base of your zipper, if you have the extra room there, you can scoop it out. And I would do that first. So kind of look at what's going on right above your zipper and see how I scooped. That means all of this fabric right here is now out of the equation. So you've, you've removed some of that fabric. Now the next thing we're going to do is draw the guideline that we're actually going to use to make this adjustment. And I want it to be right where the curve on my front crotch curve starts. I'm going to measure down uh, 8 inches and I'm just going to draw a line like this. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pivot on my inseam. I don't want to change that. And then I'm going to slash my pattern. And I'm just going to use my scissors for this. You can see what I can do now is open it up. Now here's a way to determine how much you want to adjust your pattern. What you can do is measure at crotch level across the front of your leg from inseam to side seam. And if you have a pair of snug fitting jeans that fit you well and don't have wrinkles, that's a good pair of jeans or pants to wear while you're taking this measurement. So you're gonna measure from the inseam to the side seam, compare it to what your pattern is, and chances are if your muslin is pulling, your, muslin, your pattern is smaller than that. So let's say there was a three quarter inch difference. You're actually going to pivot this till it opens three quarters of an inch. Okay, and then you're going to tape it in place, and I just have this big piece of paper underneath so I don't have to keep fussing. Alright, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to true up the shape of your crotch curve, and I'm just going to do that. Okay, and you can see that that's making a lot more room for my inner thigh or to meet the inseam at the back, and it will give me room for my athletic thigh or a prominent inner thigh. Okay, so that's how you do that adjustment. It's really not very complicated. Um, one thing I wanna make a note of though is if you do this, you've added 3 quarters of an inch to the total length of your crotch. If you have um, a nice fit in the back, you're gonna wanna take some of that back out. So let me just show you the back pattern piece. Okay, so this is the back, and you can see here in this particular case, I actually did the same adjustment where I slashed and I overlapped. I took out about three-eighths of an inch because when I added in the front, we didn't need that total amount in the back as well. So if you make the adjustment in the front for your athletic front thigh and then everything becomes a, t a little bit loose, you can either trim it off over here or you can slash it and overlap it. All right. And this is an example of how I reshaped the back crotch to make more sitting room. So this is a different adjustment. But I just want to point out here that if you open up the front crotch, you might need to close the back just a little bit if it already fits well in the back. It may work out that you actually need that total amount of length. If the whole thing is tight, um, you may need the um, what you added. So my advice would be to try it on with the um, athletic thigh adjustment, and then if it feels like it's too big, you can just take it off the, the crotch point in the inseam right in your muslin to test it and then you can transfer that to your pattern. Okay, so if you have any questions about how to adjust your front leg for an athletic thigh, please post comments below, visit um, my blog at JSTERN Designs, or join my fitter, fitting and pattern perfection group. Um, I can tell you that in that group, um, one of my students actually um, did this adjustment and there's before and after pictures. So if you're interested in seeing, you know, what it looked like before and what it looked like after, um, you can scroll through and see those um, pictures. So um, I invite you to join us there and I hope you have a great day and I will see you again soon.